what is in my Windows 7 taskbar? Uh, some might prefer to call it a dock. Um, I don't really have a preference. You can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to be showing you today. So a lot of these applications that I have are relatively similar to what Robert has. A couple of them are the same, but uh, I want to go through and show you guys anyway. Uh, the first item in my dock is Firefox. Obviously, this is one of the best web browsers out there. This is what I use for all my web browsing purposes. I actually have Opera, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, and Firefox all installed. Um, and I occasionally use something other than Firefox, usually Chrome if I need a quick alternative if something's wrong with Firefox. But mainly I use Firefox for all my web browsing needs. Next up is TweetDeck. This is my Twitter client, a very popular Twitter client. It's really, really handy. It now supports things like Facebook and MySpace and Foursquare, ton of really cool things. So highly recommend you got TweetDeck. Uh, I do this for all the Twitter's accounts that I have, including the Lucas the Geek and OmniTech News. Next up is Windows Explorer. This is pretty simple, kind of uh, essential program. Comes with Windows, obviously. Uh, I use this for navigating through my file system. Hmm, Lucas, that's interesting. Next up in my taskbar is Vegas 9.0. Next up in my taskbar is Vegas Pro 9, which is what I use to edit all of my Omnitech news videos and any other videos. So that's what I use for video editing, if you wanted to know. Next up, Paint.net, pretty much the, well, not the best, but one of the best uh, Photoshop alternatives. It happens to be free, which is a nice thing. I did an overview on this a while back on Omnitech news. Uh, the link will be in the description if you want to check that out. Next up is GIMP, the GNU image manipulation program. This is another Photoshop alternative which is not very similar to Paint.net in some ways but is in others. Um, it is more Photoshop-ish than Paint.net is. I use uh, GIMP mainly for image, like photo editing, whereas Paint.net I use mainly for graphic and web design um, if I want to make certain graphics for a website I'm designing. Uh, I'll use this, but if I'm editing uh, a photo and adding some uh, focal changes or color changes, I'll use this. Um, Zoom software is not something I use often. I use it mainly for podcasts, and that's pretty much it. Like uh, Dignation and Twit and all that good stuff. Um, as far as music and movies go, I don't usually use Zune for that. Um, I'll either watch on my TV or, like, as far as movies go, and for music, um, I usually end up using Pandora or YouTube for music. Somehow it goes back around. I don't have a Zune pass or anything. I can't afford that right now. Um, next up is Windows Live Messenger. Uh, this is a great... Uh, instant messaging tool. I don't use it as often as I use Skype, but it is still a good tool which I use sometimes. Next is Windows Live Writer, which is arguably the coolest or most useful application, one of the most used applications aside from TweetDeck and Firefox uh, on my computer. This is what I write every single Omnitech News post with, aside from when I'm, say, at school. Um, and I need to do a post, uh, I'll just use uh, the in-browser um, blogging service from WordPress, but this, if I'm at home, I'll definitely use this. This is so much better. And uh, a great piece of software comes in the Windows Live Essentials package along with Windows Live Messenger. Next is Skype. As I said, I use Skype quite a bit more often than Windows Live Messenger. Uh, I prefer Skype over, for so many reasons. Um, one is the improved video and audio quality and just the better interface in general. I ho I'm hoping that um, both of these pieces of software will have a much needed interface improvement in Windows Live Wave 4. Next up is Outlook 2010, which I went over slightly, I think, in the Outlook uh, in the sorry Office 2010 overview video, 
um, which is my main email client. I will occasionally use Windows Live Mail just because it's got better support for um, all my Hotmail accounts uh, and Live accounts. But uh, this still works pretty good when I use the Hotmail connector. And then there's Steam, which I am trying to use more. Um, I'm just kind of getting into gaming. I'm not like a serious gamer or anything. I have just beaten Portal. Um, so take that gaming community. I'm just, just kind of getting into the whole gaming world right now. So that's what's in my actual taskbar. Uh, within my system tray, I've got Dropbox, Wakupa, TweetDeck, RainMeter, Skype, AVG, Display Link, which is like what I use to power my second monitor, Steam, and the Office Upload Center, which for some reason I cannot figure out how to close that. I can't even find it in my MS Config window. So that's what's in my taskbar. As you can tell, some of this stuff is pretty similar to what Robert had in his taskbar. But no biggie. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learning a little bit more about how I use my computer.